is David Lloyd, and we are showing Mona's Hieroglyphica, which is awesome. It's an amazing show, and it's got a great name. Can you tell us a little bit about the name, David Lloyd? Well, the name is based on a 15th century mystic that wrote a book, a kind of symbol, but it's also a book called Monus Hieroglyphica. What I know about it, it was kind of an idea, was a theory of everything. The whole idea of writing a book about the theory of everything is kind of insane in itself. So it was sort of an influential to the work I make, and basically, the book is basically science and fringe ideas all rolled into one. So it's sort of like an impossible task this guy tried to do. Yeah. And the guy's crazy. Which we like. We like Which is, he's crazy. Like crazy. So the guy was actually nuts, yeah. <laughs> And, and, and archaeologists are trying to figure out what he was talking about to this day, which I love as an artist, yeah. right? Okay. How does the theory of everything kind of relate to the work in the show? Well, like I said, the idea of creating a theory of everything is kind of impossible, but I want to kind of attempt to, to bring in politics and mysticism and fringe science and real science and mainstream religion and all these things and try to turn them into kind of a, a soup of stuff moving around and I kind of feel like nothing is really knowable. So when you take a fringe idea and you take a mainstream idea, ultimately they're kind of equal because things are ultimately, I believe, unknowable. So we give special attention to certain things and we call other things crazy, but this is an idea to, to kind of mix it up. And the unknowableness of it is what makes it interesting to me. It's liberating. So how does that work with your actual sort of process with the paintings? I kind of uh, start with a group of ideas. I collect stuff <laughs> and I keep collecting it and collecting it. And I start sort of organizing it and putting it together. And it starts as just a, a, a treasure hunt of stuff. Yeah. Magazines, thrift stores, stuff on the ground, graffiti, politics, books, and I keep building and building and then I start kind of combining it and trying to make these things out of it. But I don't have, when I walk into a painting, I don't have a set idea of where it's gonna go. I used to, and every time I would make a work of art where I had an idea, it would morph into something else, so I just gave up. And now I just start making something. And people ask, why do you use this material instead of this material? Well, sometimes it's what's at arm's length, because my studio is, I'm knee deep in stuff. Yeah. So I'm picking things out and putting them up and trying to, and that's how I like it. I don't, I don't want it to be super controlled. But in the end, the paintings are actually pretty formally controlled. They're yeah. controlled works of art in the end, because I make a lot of stuff and I don't show everything I make. I make things that are just make no sense and they don't look good and I toss them and I make something else. And I take all the stuff that's good and try to show it. A lot of people who look at your work say that they feel like they're seeing these really kind of complex, sophisticated, abstract pieces with kind of images added to them that they still sort of read as an abstract right. work. Do you feel like when you're working on them that some of that is there, that your sort of history as an abstract yeah, painter yeah. is still... Well, as an abstract painter, as an abstract artist, you really only have the formal elements of a painting to work with, so you try to make it as compelling as possible with line and shape and color and texture and all these things. So that's how I think still. So I want these things to be formally compelling. They have to look good. Because if they don't look good, they, have to, they won't work on some level. But you know? abstraction for me became too formalized and too removed from real life. At some point you had to start reflecting the insanity that you saw. It seems like the world's become more insane and less, you know what I mean? It seems like it's going in some bizarre direction. And to sit around and make an abstract painting that is kind of, uh, you know, how does blue go with red? It seems divorced from reality. So once I open the floodgates, it's like, I've already got a whole show in my head, you know, driving me insane right now. So I'm, I'm all set. Let me add it. Yeah, so, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot to think about.